hi, my name's Judy and welcome to a new video. So today I thought we would do a little mid-year recap, even though it's no longer mid-year, it's past mid-year, but I'm still going to do it anyway because why not? So I thought we would just spend some time together chatting about all the books I have read this year and just like having a little chat in general about like my reading and what I've been enjoying and that sort of thing because I haven't really been posting a lot on YouTube this year and I just thought it'd be nice to sit down and catch up with you guys and tell you the books that I have read so far so yes if you're interested in what books I have read so far, which books I enjoyed and what my thoughts were, then keep watching this video. But I guess we will get straight into it with how many books I have read so far. So according to my Goodreads reading challenge, which I'm not going to lie, I've been really bad at updating, I've read 23 out of 50 books so far this year, which might not seem a lot to some people, but it is still a lot of books. Like that is still... 20 plus books that I have read and I have been in a reading slump a very very bad reading slump the worst slump of my life to be quite honest with you some months I haven't read any books some months I've read just one book and yeah it's not been a great reading year in terms of how many books I've been reading but I'm very much trying to remind myself of quality over quantity and I used to read a lot of books like some months I would read 20 books a month sometimes it would be like 10 I would on average read anywhere from like 10 to 20 books from like I would say maybe as COVID started through until 2021 22 and then obviously as I've spent less time like at home in terms of like you know lockdown I wasn't working so I had lots of time to read and then I have recently in this past year had a full-time job so that's less time for reading but there have been lots of things that have added to the fact that I am reading a smaller amount of books but it mainly is that I've been in a reading slump and I just haven't wanted to read that is the simple and honest truth but I have enjoyed some of the books I have read so far this year and I thought we would sit down and talk about them so yes we have 23 books to chat about and I'll give you some thoughts my memory is not known for being good so some of these books I read a few months ago and I don't quite remember my full thoughts on them which I know is really bad but it's like my brain only has the capacity for like one book and as soon as I read another book it deletes the previous book out of my brain and that's it so yeah we'll see how this goes but if you do want to know more about these books then I guess the best place to go would be my reading vlogs because I usually do share my thoughts there if I do like finish a book and stuff um but yeah anyway let's get to it and I'm not going to go in any particular order I'm just going to grab from my stack and we shall discuss the book so the first one I picked up is a graphic novel which is Heartstopper volume 5 I finally got to this book I've been meaning to read this since I got it I'm a very big fan of this series I have absolutely adored it since the first time I read it which I think was during well just before the very first lockdown started was when I picked this series up and I immediately fell in love with it and I have reread the other volumes multiple times since and I've just been meaning to read this one and for some reason just kept putting it off but I'm so glad that I did. I really, really enjoyed this volume. If you didn't know, Heartstopper basically follows two boys in the UK who are in high school. They're facing a lots of different things that you do as a teenager. And there's lots of different themes in here from sexuality to eating disorders and mental health and just lots of like kind of sensitive topics as well. But they're handled in such a way that kind of educate you as a reader but I assume a lot of people would also find relatable so it is just a really wholesome incredibly well written graphic novel series and I cannot recommend this series enough it is so cute it will make your heart just feel warm like that's the best way to describe it and although it does tackle those like deeper issues it's still very much a wholesome read and I just love this series so much. I love that this series exists for readers, especially younger readers, who can see themselves in this series and feel represented and I just think that is such a wonderful thing and when I worked in the bookshop and the Netflix series came out for this and then 
the graphic novel blew up even more the younger people coming in to get this series like just seeing how happy they were and excited about it i haven't seen that for a series in such a long time and it was such a wonderful thing to experience so i just love this series it has a very special place in my heart and this volume just i loved it so much it's at a point now where they are approaching going to university so they are tackling those kinds of things and those decisions they're starting to get into their later teen years and i just really liked how it discussed those topics and just everything that was in here and of course it just had those lovely cozy warm hearted vibes that heartstopper is known for so yeah if you haven't read this series i would highly recommend it but of course i gave this five stars and i loved it so next we have The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Lavanzella. This was a reread for me and I gave this the same rating that I gave it the first time I read it. I read this when it very first came out so I think it might have been 2020. It could have been before then. I honestly can't remember exactly when but I received this in a fairy loot box and I read it and I wasn't a big fan. I think I gave it 2.5 stars rounded up to 3 stars. The main issue I had was that when I first picked this up I didn't quite understand the concept of morally grey and I hadn't really had many experiences with morally grey characters and this is very, very morally grey and I didn't quite get it. I liked it and I enjoyed it and I read it very quickly but I didn't really get it the first time around and having read it a second time, knowing that it is morally grey and understanding what that means, I definitely did enjoy it a lot more. It's just a very entertaining fun story with those typical YA vibes. I loved the main character and how she just is very fierce but my one gripe with this is that there's being morally grey and then there's also just things that I just don't like and the main character love interest in here really do not like poor people and anyone of a class beneath them and it's almost almost like they dehumanise them and like, I understand being morally great, but I just did not like that. That is just one element I cannot get behind. And, yeah, like, I get it because of who the characters are and that sort of thing. But I just didn't like that. And it's the reason why I decided to give it three stars again. Because I just feel like if that element wasn't in there, I would love this book so much more. I do really like it. It's a really good morally great fantasy with kind of she's planning to murder him he doesn't know it they fall in love kind of vibes and it's also kind of got fake dating kind of and the main character is basically just really fierce really morally grey she will quite literally kill a man and it's just a very very fun time so i would still recommend it um, and if you love the morally grey you love a dark way fantasy with royalty and shadows palace vibes then you will definitely enjoy this book so next we have a ya contemporary romance which i absolutely loved i cannot remember if i gave this four or five stars i probably gave it like 4.5 but this is this time it's real by Anne liang i loved this book so much this is such a well done young adult novel i cannot recommend this enough if you like a nice fluffy romance this is definitely it but it does also tackle some other topics which were really really well done in here this is set in china from what i can remember i'm pretty sure it's china i'm pretty sure it is but it has chinese drama vibes and basically our main character writes this like essay or something that goes viral pretending she has a boyfriend and she doesn't and then we have the school's golden boy who is a famous chinese drama actor and they eventually end up fake dating to kind of give him some good publicity as well as like making people think he's the guy she was writing about in these viral posts so it's a really interesting like dynamic that they have but of course the fake dating becomes a real dating and it's just such a wholesome story it has chinese drama vibes it was just amazing i really enjoyed it and the writing was stunning um so yeah i would highly recommend this one especially if you're looking for a nice fun romance and speaking of romance we then have the night shift by annie crown and this one i loved i think i did give this five stars or again like a 4.5 i read this in a day in like a single sitting because it was just such a fun fast read and it's just i don't know i just loved it like the main character in here loves books and loves reading and I can always get behind that like any book that has characters that also love reading and books will always have me hooked every single time and this one definitely did that i also just enjoyed the romance overall it was very flirtatious she's a bookworm he's a basketball player they fall in love it is just a really fun time like if you're just looking for a really quick 
fun easy read that you can fly through and just have a fun time with then this is definitely the one i really really enjoyed this and i'm really really glad that i read it next we have a fantasy with romance so i don't know if this will be considered romance or not but this is by cm crawford and this is the court of shadows i really enjoy cm crawford's books because they're all just really fun quick and easy romantic fantasies to read and i would always recommend this author if you are looking for something quick i think i read this in like a day or maybe a day and a half so this one is a book that has trials in which is so fun there's also Faye in here as well and a bit of like a mystery element and our main character is just really fierce like a badass and really funny and um, takes no shit off anyone and it was just a really fun time i can't quite remember the whole plot of this book but I know that I really enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure I gave this four stars. And I remember just really enjoying like the trials. She also basically ends up having her love interest as a roommate and they hate each other. But then they fall for each other. And they're roommates. And they were roommates. God, they were roommates. So it is a really fun time. Just a really interesting world and just a quick read. So I really enjoyed this one. Next, we have a summary college romance. This one is Springtide by Kai Stevens. This is a coastal university book. And this one, again, I read quite quickly. I really enjoyed this. It was a really fun romance. It has those summary vibes. It's set at a coastal university and basically they kind of fake date. He is very standoffish, very closed off. He's quite literally got a name that's like the ice king or something like that like because he's so cold towards people but it's only because he's been so hurt in the past so he's definitely grumpy she's sunshine she ends up having to like help him with a secret injury that he doesn't want his team to know that he has and she's like a i can't remember exactly what she's called but she's basically training to be some kind of like physiotherapist or something and she ends up helping him he helps her they fake date but they get to know each other more he finally opens up and they fall in love it is just a really sweet story i really enjoyed it and i love the setting and like the university vibes like it was just so well done so i definitely recommend this and if you are looking for something that is just a bit summery and like a bit coastal then this is definitely Definitely the one for you next we have a young adult fantasy and that is the temptation of magic by megan scott i gave this one four stars this was just such a fun fantasy it is unlike anything i've ever read before because the concept of magic in here is so incredibly unique it's quite literally tied to art and paintings the paintings themselves are supernatural I love that as a concept. I just think it's fascinating. There's also so many different paranormal creatures in this book. So many that I had never heard of before, which is really refreshing because a lot of fantasy books are the same creatures over and over. And this had so many creatures in it that I'd never heard of before that are inspired by Celtic mythology. And then we have a totally new concept of a supernatural creature called an Imperial. And they're basically immortals and they are... The kind of top of the food chain in this world essentially they can shift into other supernatural creatures in order to hunt them and our main character is basically trying to stop herself from like awakening as an imperial because that she'll be hunted down by the um i can't remember what they're called but there's like a deadly organization and they'll basically want to like hunt her down and recruit her and obviously she doesn't want to do that because they killed her mother um so yeah there's that and then we have an imperial hunter who comes and is hunting this creature and it is involved with this painting that nicole is also trying to discover because she believes it holds the final clue that her mother left her and they cross paths he doesn't know that she is an imperial and it's kind of like her trying to avoid him finding out it's basically like a forbidden romance there's mystery in here it has a coastal university setting picture edinburgh and cornwall mixed together the perfect misty coastal vibes it is incredible like i said it also has celtic mythology and the romance is just so good there's a lot of good action and like you can tell by my tabs how much i enjoyed this book so i would highly recommend this especially if you're looking for something to read transitioning into autumn i feel like this is the perfect vibe it has dark academia vibes as well yeah i really really enjoyed this book it gave it four stars so next we have my most recent read which is the god and the gummy ho by sophie kim this is an adult fantasy with romance mystery k-drama vibes and a 90s setting I love this book so much. It has grumpy sunshine, but it's more like grumpy times grumpy. And I just could not get enough of it. Like, you guys don't understand how good this book is. Like, I am obsessed. Look at my tabs. 
again i feel like the tabs always speak for themselves sorry my camera died so i had to switch out the battery but this is a really really fun book it has so much banter tension mystery romance and action and we have a grumpy god his only enjoying life is coffee um he's been kicked out of like heaven let's say and he's now being punished on the human world in korea and he literally hates people he hates everyone and then we have honey who is a gummy hoe which is a nine-tailed fox she is known as the scarlet fox but no one knows she is actually the fox in question um she killed jack the ripper we love that for her yes she is this notorious creature and no one ever knew the real identity and no one still knows that it's her and our grumpy god is actually hunting her down as well as this demonic creature trying to destroy the world and they end up working together to find this demonic creature but he has no idea that she is the scarlet fox that he's hunting for and they really do not like each other like when i say this starts out it's hate to love it very much is like they hate each other she literally he will order a coffee and she will purposely dump in loads of sugar and cream and then at the start their first interaction she quite literally pours coffee all over him so it is just such a good book it is so funny honey is one of the funniest and most fierce female main characters i have ever read and i honestly loved her she takes snacks to a steakhouse and i'm just obsessed with her there is the one bedroom in here false proximity mystery banter arguing love just so many good tropes like so many it is such a good read i bawled my eyes out at the end of this book the way this book starts and the way it ends both are done in such a cinematic and beautiful way and just seeing the symmetry between the beginning and the ending was incredible like i cannot even begin to explain so i would highly recommend this book definitely in probably my top 10 of the year i gave this a 4.5 and i really really enjoyed it and would definitely recommend it especially if you love a book with k-drama vibes this is it this needs to be a k-drama so next we have the crimson moth by Kristen cicerelli this is a young adult romanticy and it is so good if you like witchy vibes if you like a game of cat and mouse and you like enemies to lovers then this is definitely the one for you our main character is known as this vapid socialite and she is by day the socialite by night she is the crimson moth a vigilante rescuing witches no one knows she is actually a witch and in this world witches are hunted and killed and our love interest gideon is the best hunter ever and he is hunting the crimson moth and he suspects her she's trying to get close to him to figure out something and it's like a game of cat and mouse but they slowly do fall for each other there's lots of other things going on in the background with like the politics and the witches there's magic it is very cool magic because it's linked to blood and it's just a very interesting concept i just really really enjoyed this it was such a fun read it did have me crying i'm not gonna lie and i'm very excited for the second book i think i gave this four stars as well and i would definitely recommend this one if you are looking for a fun enemy to lovers young adult fantasy with witches then this is definitely the book for you next we have a manga which is mimi's tales of terror by junji ito i can't remember my exact rating but i think i gave this two stars this is probably my least favorite junji ito i've read unfortunately i had such high hopes for this one but it just didn't read like Junji Ito's books you usually do. It was just, a lot of it was just silly. And it just didn't do anything for me. I just found myself not being very invested in the stories or as creeped out as I would be. It just didn't hook me the way Junji Ito's books usually do. So unfortunately, this was a bit of a disappointment. It was still a good read. It just wasn't what I wanted. Um, So I think I did give this two stars. So we do have some manga, which is Solo Leveling Volume 8. And seven. This is my all time favourite manga or manhwa. I honestly love this series with my entire heart. Like, I cannot begin to describe it. If you have been here for a while, you will have heard me talk about this series a lot and recommend it all the time. If you are looking for a graphic novel or a manga to get into to start your journey into it, or just looking for one to read, I would highly recommend this series. It is high stakes it is action-packed it is rooting for the underdog it is just an incredible story and world and i cannot recommend it enough our main character essentially is the weakest of his kind in this world these random like gates have opened where these creatures can come out and kill people and stuff and we have hunters who have kind of like 
um, superhuman abilities and there are different levels of these hunters and he is the lowest of the lowest he is the weakest of the weakest and he one day goes into this raid to try and get money for his mother because she's in hospital and things don't go well um and he goes from being the weakest to the strongest essentially we're following his journey as he gets stronger and stronger it is such a good story like i cannot recommend it enough it is so good i love this series with my whole heart and volume 9 comes out in the month that i am currently filming this video and every volume is just getting better and better we'll be introduced to more and more characters and i am just obsessed with him like just look at him just look at him like Jin Woo has my heart. I am obsessed with this man, honestly. And the anime, don't even get me started. So yes, very excited for the next volume, but these are both five stars. One of my favorite series of all time, highly recommend. So next we have a young adult fantasy, which is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. This one was so fun. This one I loved a lot more than I thought I was going to. I think I gave this 3.5 or 3.75 stars. I really really enjoyed this like this is vampires done in such a unique way and I've never read a book like it and I just cannot recommend it enough I hate books with heists like I hate books with heists and this the main plot is a heist but I really enjoyed this book it has an incredible cast of characters with so many different personalities there is humor there is banter our main character Arthi is incredible it has Peaky Blinders vibes and a setting like Peaky Blinders it has vampires and other creatures a heist action and a little bit of romance it is such a good book honestly like I would highly recommend this guys seriously it is amazing and this will be perfect to pop on your autumn tbrs because the vampire vibes are stunning I honestly I cannot wait to read the next book um so yeah I would highly recommend this one such a fun read and just a fast read as well so next we have two more manga which is romantic killer volumes three and four this was one of my favorite mangas ever I really loved it it started off so well the first few volumes were five stars for me so wholesome made me laugh made me giggle really good romance just a really funny silly story but the last volume because apparently this is the final volume sucked i really did not like this i can't even remember what i rated it but it was not good guys like i did not like how this ended at all but essentially the main character is forced by this weird little creature to try and date these guys and it is just so funny like it is hilarious like the banter and the romance she's trying to resist them but she's falling for one of them and it's just such a funny and fun series it's very silly but it just had such good vibes that had me giggling and kicking my feet and i just really really loved it until i got to the last volume so i hope the author decides to write another volume and make things right but I would still recommend this series it is a really fun time so i did read those but i can't remember my exact ratings then next we have true beauty volumes one and two this is one of my favorite k-dramas of all time it started as a webtoon originally and got adapted to a k-drama if you have not watched this k-drama watch it it will change your life honestly it is so good i love it i've rewatched it so many times if you are new to k-dramas it's a great place to start it is a romantic k-drama it is set at a high school in south korea and we also have a love triangle and i'm not a love triangle girly but it worked for me in this series so i was so excited to get my hands on these absolutely loved them five stars very very different to the k-drama so it's really interesting to see the differences between it but i loved this so much it's basically our main character is struggling with being bullied because of her looks and she decides to kind of change how she looks and her life changes as a result she becomes very popular and she begins to realize that sometimes being popular can be very shallow because people only like her now because she's pretty and it's really really interesting to see how she tackles that and realizes that the grass isn't always greener on the other side and then we do also have the romance and the love triangle and it is just such a good romance i just love it so much um so yes these were both five stars absolutely love this series so much i still need to read volume three and volume four has come out but unfortunately they don't seem to be doing it in hardcover anymore and i'm so sad because all of mine are hardcovers so that's kind of annoying me but i do need to get my hands on volume four and then we have two more manga so we have the ice guy and the cool girl i think i gave this two stars i didn't really like this it was just very repetitive i feel like it just didn't go anywhere and although it had its cute moments it just wasn't really for me i don't really have anything else to say if i'm being honest i just found it a bit 
boring at times and I was so excited for this so yeah I'm, I still have high hopes for the anime because I'm pretty sure this is adapted into an anime now but I just didn't love it it just was kind of a letdown and then the last one is a sign of affection this one is volume one and I think I gave this five stars or maybe four stars this is such a wholesome cute story and it will have you giggling and kicking your feet and just smiling and feeling all warm and fuzzy I honestly love this so much and I cannot wait to read the other volumes in this series and it says here that basically she is really into her friends and fashion she's also deaf and she meets this guy on a train by chance and they kind of strike up a friendship that is like turn into a bit more I believe he does learn sign language for her and it's just a really really sweet story I cannot wait to read the other volumes of this series like it started off so well and I believe there's also an anime for this which I cannot wait to watch but those are all of the books that I have read so far in 2024 I almost said 23 for a second then um I have started a lot of books and got halfway through them and then not finished them and it's not that I've like dnf them completely it's more just like a soft dnf that I wasn't in the mood for them so there are quite a few of those that I may end up finishing before the year ends but those are the books I have read this year as I said definitely not as many as I usually would read but I'm still happy that I've been reading and that I have read some really great reads and I have some reads to recommend to you guys when I do my wrap up at the end of the year. Would highly recommend all of the books I've spoken about because they were all really enjoyable reads. Just some of them weren't for me and some were just like amazing. So yes, very, very happy with what I have read so far this year. I'm hoping that in the autumn I will be reading a lot more because autumn is a season that I just love and I find reading even more enjoyable and magical during the autumn so hopefully i do read a lot more and finally beat my slump but i've been in the slump for about a year and a half now and it hasn't gotten any better so we shall see but yeah let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books what your thoughts were or if you're now planning to read any of them also let me know in the comments what your favorite reads of the year have been so far i would absolutely love to know and as always if you do have any book recommendations feel free to leave them in the comments but i hope you guys did enjoy this video i will have a link to all of my social media in the description box along with a link to my patreon and that's where you're going to find early access to videos such as these you will find a bi-monthly book club you will also find the occasional reading sprint extra videos such as hauls and unboxing Boxings and reading vlogs and all of that good stuff you'll also find a discord there's also vanilla moon bookmarks available for the super moon tier and up so if you were interested you can head to my patreon which will be linked down below but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye